this tutorial is to demonstrate how to draw shapes and measure the sides and angles in GeoGebra. After you've hit Start Calculator, you're going to land in this page. We're not really doing calculations, we're doing drawing, so we need to select our drawing tools. By default, it gives you the Cartesian plane, and since we're doing a freehand drawing, we don't need this, and we're going to turn this off. The right hand side, there's the settings. Click on that and we can choose to turn off our axes and also to turn off our grid. Now we have a plain white canvas for us to work with. On the right hand, on the left hand side, let's go back. We can select drawing tools by picking our line segment. I've drawn a triangle here, and you'll notice that automatically the angles are labeled with capital letters and the sides are labeled with small letters. Let's go back to our menu bar. I'm going to click on move. It's just a cursor so that I can change the values of the side. You'll notice that the sides and the angles don't correspond. So this should be side B, but somehow it's labeled H. When I click on that, this little pop-up box comes up. If I select the letter A, I can change our label. I'm going to label this little b because this is across from angle B. It has the label, and I'm also going to show the value. Now that automatically measures the distance or the length of the line segment. Let's do this with every single one. This is side A. I'm going to show the value. And we have side C. I'm going to show the value as well. Now you realize that all of these have 13 decimal spots. This is a little bit big for our use. You can keep it if you want, but to neaten it up, what you can do is click on the three dots, select settings, go to the cogwheel for the settings again, and change the rounding to two decimal spots. Next, we need to measure our angles. On the left toolbar, there is a measure angle button. When you click on that, you're going to tell the computer what angle you're measuring by selecting three vertices. So for A, I'm going to start with C, go to A and B. Oh. Let's make sure that the angle button is selected. Okay, C, A, and B. Now it's measured the outside of angle A. I don't necessarily want the outside of the angle, so I'm going to change this to the inside. Click on the angle, and you can select 0 to 180 instead. I'm also going to turn off the label so that it only shows the value because I already have the label. I'm going to repeat that step with angle B and angle C. Now I'm going to clean this up. Make sure you go back to the move. Have this angle on the inside. We're also going to turn off the label. And I'm going to move this to make it neater. Okay, and there we have a triangle with all of our sides and angles labeled.